Welcome back for another episode of Satisfactory. On this episode, we're going to be expanding our coal production here to increase our energy. Did some numbers. If we, When we upgrade the Mark II miner, or upgrade our Mark I miner up to a Mark II, we're going to be able to overclock it and produce 270 coal per minute, which that will be able to handle 18 generators. It's going to require 810 cubic meters of water per minute. And it's going to take three water pipes to handle all of it at flowing at 300. Uh, is it 300? Whoop. Let me double check that number. Where did I, there we go. Yes, 300 cubic meters per minute. Okay. So first off, let's go and update our Mark, Mark 1 miner up to a Mark 2. And we'll overclock it. Okay, let's get this one done. Production for Mark II. We'll increase that right there. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't like that. There's a chest that was left over in there. Can I get to it? No, don't fire up. Fine. Okay, let's try this again. We'll need that. I'm gonna bump it. Oop. First things first, getting ahead of the game. Alright, let's get this 204. Oh, so we only need to increase it by 30, so it'd be what 112%. But let's uh, we're shooting for 270. Yep. Okay. Let's connect. I think we got it. There it is, Mark III. Yeah, 270. Now where's the... Oh, the power's right there. Alright. Oh yeah, definitely want the inhaler. Yeah, the concrete I'll sacrifice. Get all that. Or not. Okay, you're gone. Yep, 271. What if we take it down? Our target rate was supposed to be 270. Let's see if we can get it down there. There it is. Okay. Alright, so now we need to upgrade this lift. Alright, let's get up there and we'll do the rest. Before I update the rest of all of these belts and everything and prepare for the layout, um, there are some foundations that need to be laid. Let's get this done. Foundations are laid down for this next expansion and also future proofing for what's coming up ahead when we get the Mark III miners and able to overclock that up to, uh, what, 480 coal per minute. That'll be 32 generators and about five pipes of water. So, laid out five of them here just to make sure we've got enough space. So, let's start laying down. We've got 10 more coal generators to put down. Yes, that's lining up. Get the rest of them. There it is. Double check our alignment. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm off somewhere. Of course it was the first one. Alright, here we go again. Uh, 
There it is. Alright, what's going on here? Well, hopefully a third time is the charm. It was being lined up with that splitter right there. You need to have the coal generator lined up in the middle of right here. So that's where we're going to go. So let's try there. Let's see if that's going to line it up. Yes. Oh, but you know what? We do need to line it up with that one to make it all nice and pretty. No, we don't. Because we can put a splitter there, run it here, and then run up. Okay, as long as these guys are lined up. Okay, that's looking good. Let's do it again. Okay, it took me a couple of tries, but we got them. The issue was, down here at this very first one, it was wanting to line up with that splitter right there, and that's what was throwing it off. All right, well, we've got them all lined up nice and neat, right along here on this crease, lined up with that one. All right, let's get the splitter in there. We'll put in a buffer too, and we'll go ahead and lay out all of the splitters for the coal. Okay, there's the coal all hooked up. Also got the storage container as the buffer. It's filling. Yep. We've got to clog, fill up all these lines, and it'll start backing up over there. It's all looking good so far. All right, time to go take care of the pipes. Here's an update on the progress. The center one is going to be right here in the center, obviously. And then this pipe over here is going to be running the nine on that side. This pipe here is going to be running the nine on that side. And then when we expand it to 32 generators, this pipe will handle that bank and the pipes that will be coming out of this one will handle this pipe. All right, back at it. I'll give you guys an update. This building technique I uh, discovered off of watching uh, one of Nihilus or Nihilus's uh, YouTube videos. Um, when you're wanting to connect a pipeline junction, you just kind of start it here. The line is right there. And you just open. Oh, if you lose it, you just drop it down, line it up. And there it is. I'd like to thank him. It was a great video to watch about how to construct the pipelines. It saved me some time and made it nice and neat. But there we go. We got that section all set up there for that. This one we still have to do over here on this side. I figured I'd get this bank started and then start dismantling and connect that bank over there. So right now, we just got to cross some of these pipes over and get them set up. On a quick trip back to base, wanted to show you guys what I did in between episodes also. I expanded the copper sheets, pumping out 270 ore per minute. We've got two, four, six, eight constructors putting out copper sheets. Three storage containers. Yeah, I had to show some restraint on just lining them up right here now after it fills up they then get right now it's kind of splitting off one to one going into there but as soon as that container gets filled up again they'll be run out and go right into the awesome sink all right back to construction and here's another update on the concrete mark two miner Putting out 270 ore per minute, going into, I believe it's six constructors. Yep, making 90 concrete per minute. Did the same thing, got two storage containers. So as soon as it backs up to here, everything else goes off into the awesome sink. Oh, let me know how many tickets we got. Oh, we already got 10. 
Ooh, okay, we'll let it keep piling up. I don't want to block up my inventory. All right. Let's see what it looks like from up here for our uh, power plant. It's getting there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see the pipes there. Okay. See you guys when I get down there. Got all this pipe back here. Let's, oh, let's go there then. All right, we got three extractors and we need a total of seven. Uh, let's see, how can we lay this out? You know what? Hang on, before we do that. Let's get a bird's eye view of this. So we need four more. What if we do a okay, back to back? Resources isn't deep enough. Oh, you're kidding. Approaching the clearance, how about there? One. Oh, this is. Oh, this is going to be total spaghetti. Three more I got to get in here. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so let's try this. We'll bring you... Oh, maybe we will. One. Two. Three. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another offering to the spaghetti gods. Oh, I hope we can get that pipe out of there. Let's go find out. Oh, okay. Can this one be moved? Can we get another one going a little bit? Come on, gotta, I don't want to go look for water elsewhere. Where's the collision boxes? There they are. What if we turn it this way? I think we can get here. I just need one more. Okay, let me play around with this. I'm going to figure this one out. I got to get all seven. That did it. Got all seven of them in there. All right, let's connect all of this up. And again, yeah, the giddy gods will be happy with this one. The spaghetti gods will be very happy on this one. Got all seven of them connected. Here's the setup. Two water extractors are filling up this pipe, three for this one, and two for that one, and all of it is heading right back there into our factory. And that did it. We have a complete shutdown. I almost did it without having it shut down. Oh well, back at it. Thanks again to Neelis for that construction technique here, hooking up the T cross, what are they called? The junction cross, and connecting them straight in there. I like it. I'll leave a description, uh, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description to his uh, YouTube channel. Check him out. All right, we've got all the water coming in. Double check, oh, how about we double check? Yes, we do. Buffers are there. Okay, we still got to connect this guy up. Um, do some quick math and then I'll hook him on up. We have 300 cubic meters of water coming through this pipe, which will handle 6.67 cold generators. So I'm going to actually drop it in here. Six, eight. We'll drop it in right here on this one. Hmm. Yeah, we can still do this. 
Let's, uh... Okay, we'll do it twice. How about three there? Yeah, we'll try this. Oh, that'll work. That will definitely work. Because what I'm thinking is, we put one here. One, whoop. One connection going here. Okay, so there's one, two, and let's hook up this third one. Okay, so that's going to hook up one, two, three on that side, and this one I'll just put right here so it'll hook up one, two, three, four, and that should take care of all of it, at least that is the plan. All right, let's get you lined up right about there-ish. Okay, so if we connect you. Oh, no, that's gonna bother me. Okay, let's try it this way. We're crouching at clearance. Oh, oh, okay, take care of you. And we'll do this. Okay. Oh, it's not going to reach. Okay. Well, let's put... We'll do this. Maybe now we won't be hitting that junction. All right there. Okay, that looks better. Let's see how this looks now. Everything's flowing. These buffers should be filled. Yep, they're filling. Yep. That's looking good. There it is. Now a lot I have to do, run some power lines over there, get this thing up and running and test it and make sure we've got it. Okay, testing the power here. Somewhere I missed a hookup because we should have another 75 megawatts. All right, let's track it down. Here it is. Found this guy. Yep, 1,350 megawatts. Okay, that should last us until we can get to fuel. If not, we will just add another let's see 32 total so another well 14 yeah I think we can fit 14 more coal generators up here and extend it out that way a little bit like it I like it I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of this episode uh, it depends upon how the editing goes um, if I can fit in a, a little bit more, I will, because I'd really like to start setting up some hyper tubes, go and unlock them, and start setting up those lines going across, especially from our main base here to the hole, then from the main base over there to our steel factory. Either way, I'll see you out there. Time to unlock hyper tubes. Go. Stocked up on a little bit of supplies. Knowing that we were going to need some. Oh. There we go. We get a launch. Milestone reached. Fix uh -oh. Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent okay. pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Introducing HyperTubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun.
Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, we will build them today. Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. Oh, don't worry, Ada. Everything we do will be responsible. Get the attachments. Okay, I wanted to get add those to the cart. We got all the attachment walls, foundations. Yep. Uh, let's throw them in there. We got 17 tickets. Uh, organization. I wanted to get some of that. Let's um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll add those to the cart. What do we got? Nine. Only nine. Okay, so we got eight more to go. Well, let's add those guys. Alright. Yeah, one more. That'll do. We'll buy all. Okay. Gotta put the coupon back. Need to be responsible for that one. Okay. We got that. So what are we gonna need and how is this gonna work? Um, transportation, yep, there it is. Hyper tubes, yep, got a lot of copper sheets and pipe. Yep, rotors we've got. Ooh, yeah, we should have enough to for this quick little build. Yep, concrete, okay. Yeah. All right, walls, yep, there's the metal walls we did. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna play around with those too. The foundation, oh, these giant pillars. Yeah, I've seen some of, those, some of those in action. Oh, that'll be cool. Oh, there's the fence rail. Okay. I believe that was all that we unlocked on this one. Okay. Now, let's see. If we're going to build the launch pad... Um, yeah, let's do it here. Go out a little bit. There we go. Alright. Time to play around. First one, we're going to build over... Ooh, where are we going? How about... Yeah. We'll go... Ooh, come on. Just... I don't want a 45 degree angle. How about a 90? Can I do a 90? There we go. Okay. Um, I'd like to go towards... Our... Uh, modular frame factory. Oh, oh, an entrance. Upper tube entrance. Oh, okay. That was easy. Now we just gotta find some power. All right, let's get down there and we'll get get it going over there. And how far are these things gonna do go? Number um, tube. Let's see. We'll put you there. There we go. How about here? default? Oh, let's see what this looks like. See what the different build modes do. Wow. Ooh, this is going on a long ways. Let's see, can we tell a default build mode? I don't know. Let's see what Noodle does. Okay. Let's get going up here. We'll take the shortest route. Oh. Oh, I think Noodle's got like a little bit of a gentle curve to it. Okay. Oh, that was a game save. Whoop. Okay, so let's keep going this way. Oh, pipe is too long. All right, that's about the limit. If we go about here. Getting closer. I know a player's in the way. I'm trying not to be in the way. Okay, what if we... Let's try this. Okay, I have an idea. I want to see if this is going to work. Just on the outside of this conveyor. So if we put hyper tube wall, there it is. If we put one. Oh, let's go up here. 
And that one will go off to the steel factory. Okay, so let's see if this will reach. So if we go here. Oh, sweet, it does. Yeah. Oh, I like that noodle. Nice and curved. Nice and gentle. Okay. Let's see what we've got now. We've got to put another entrance to go back. And let's. We've got to power these things. We've got a couple of them. Let's do this. Our pole, we'll put one. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, oh, let's put an entrance on that one. Okay. Connect that to there. That to there. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's going to suck you in. I wonder if I could walk by it without it happening. Well, we're here to experiment. Let's go for it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so sweet. Going back and forth. Really quick. Yes. I like these hyper tubes. This is going to be very, very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? Oh, I don't want to go in. Hmm. I didn't like that. How about we do this? Um, or is it here? We'll even put up a new catch fence. There, so we don't accidentally get sucked in. Okay. Alright, let's go build it from the modular factory over to the steel. Oof. Can we turn around? Oh! Oh, can we? Oh, we can! Oh! Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, Coffee Stain Studios, I love ya. That is very, very nice. Oh, okay, we're speeding up. Oh, man, it, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's gonna give me a headache. Well, anyways, what I was looking at was, as we were coming down this hill, we were speeding up. I wonder if going uphill slows you down too. Oh, we're going to have to play with it. Okay, but for right now, I'm putting in another catch fence. Oh. Alright. You're gone. Put a catch fence. We'll keep it nice and clean. Alright, we'll put another pole right there. And we'll reconnect everything back up that uh oh okay let's get you powered back up there we go okay let ooh I like it I like it okay now we've got to get this one over to the steel yeah let's go up and over the roof of it all right build the ladder so let's go here-ish. All right, let's try this. There's our transportation hyper tube. I don't know. Let's try vertical. Since we are going vertical, makes sense. Let's see what happens. Oh, where is it? Where is it? So oh, it's right there. Okay. Players in the. I, how can it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Is that? Oh. Try it again. I don't want to go through the building. What if we just go right? Here. How's that look? Cool. 
Okay, we'll get rid of you. And we'll get rid of all of the ladders. Okay, let's continue onward. Pepper tube, noodle. All right, get it on over there. All right, we're almost there. Just want to keep it here next to the crater. Have a nice little view as we're traveling around. Get this up here. Oh yeah, right there on the edge. Oh yeah. We go here. Turn it this way. Up here, right there. Yes, I like it. Okay, go playing around with it. Let's put another entrance. Oh, power, power. Uh, did we get a? Oh, right there. Oh, this is going to be fun. I really like this. I can see these going all over the place. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to build one. Maybe from the steel to the coal. Or maybe the coal to the modular frame. But I just wanted to give, give you guys a sample of this. And as always, enjoy life and be safe.